So most other hospitals don't do that? Uh, well, most <laughs> hospitals end up referring either to one or the other. We've been a referral search on both. Mm -hmm. um, well, sleep apnea is really, um, the obstructive sleep apnea more specifically is what we deal with. Um, when patients go to sleep at night uh, and they lay on their back and they're in REM sleep, where the muscles are all uh, very relaxed in the body, including the muscles in the back of your tongue and the back of your throat. Um, the, there's blockage. All that tissue falls on the back of your throat um, and air cannot go through. And, in the, and when that happens, you, you can't breathe and your body wakes you up. And the body wakes you up could be as much as over 100 times each hour. So uh, the results of that um, continuous awakening is twofold. One, the patient doesn't feel good. Imagine if you're woken up several hundred times uh, a night. Uh, the patients wake up uh, occasionally with headaches. They snore very loudly during sleep. Um, they have very low energy during the day. They're very sleepy and they tend to fall asleep at the wheel, which is a very serious problem with uh, motor vehicle accidents with sleep apnea patients. So patients just don't feel well. They don't perform well at work. Their memory suffers. The other end of it uh, is more physiologic and the patient won't appreciate that as much. Uh, hypertension, uh, possibly even diabetes, uh, congestive heart failure, uh, arrhythmias, stroke, heart attack, uh, all these have, are very, very common in sleep apnea patients. In fact, most, a lot of people that have these conditions, you look back and you find out that they have sleep apnea. So that's what sleep apnea is. Well, a lot of people sleep apnea patients snore. But they don't realize that the snoring can lead to something that's life-threatening, which is the sleep apnea. So they may not realize that they're stopping breathing at night. They might sleep alone where uh, nobody's there to tell them, you know, hey, this is scaring me because you're, you're actually stopping breathing for up to a minute at a time and then you gasp yourself awake after that. So if people don't know this is happening, then they might not realize that the underlying cause for why they're, they're walking through the day within a daze or falling asleep at the wheel and driving off uh, the, the street and into a ditch uh, is because of sleep apnea and not because of something else. So a lot of the time, uh, uh, patients just don't know what sleep apnea is and that this, this is a possibility for a cause of their, their symptoms. And I guess you guys have had some pretty scary stories from patients then. We have. Uh, we, that, the story that I told you about uh, the, the individual driving off the road was, was a patient that we had. And she said that the, the reason that she came to see us is because it, it scared her to death. Because she did not even realize it was happen, happening until her car was in the ditch. We had another patient that drove into a telephone pole. And that's how, how she realized that, that this was something that really needed to be addressed. Do you think a lot of times...